Right now, there's outrage over the gruesome murder of a 70-year-old woman in Aliwal North. Mamokete Mowa's uh, dismembered body was found in a steel luggage trunk last week. A close family member is suspected to be behind that crime. Mwiwa was uh, buried or will be buried today in Aliwal North in the Eastern Cape. Reporter Ronald Masinda joins us now live to give us more details. Ronald, um, have you been able to speak to family members at all about how this uh, is probably uh, causing a huge strain on the family to have her uh, killed in such a brutal matter, manner rather, and the suspect be a family member? Yes, good afternoon, Masaka. Well, I did speak to Itumile Muya, who is the niece of Umamu Muya, and she told us that the family now wants swift justice. She says that the grandson, a 30-year-old man, confessed to the murder and that he was possessed by evil spirits. Now, uh, communities here in Alwal North uh, raised concerns when they didn't see Mamumuya going to church, and this uh, led to a search for her uh, only uh, to discover that uh, gruesome crime scene where some of her body parts were chopped. Uh, we are now joined by Pietras Majola, an activist here in the province. Dr. Majola, thank you so much for your time. And I must say, it's not the first time that we hear of such incidents in the province. Are women, elderly women in general, are they vulnerable? They are most vulnerable and they need more protection as much as we have programs. But I realize that those programs are for us to talk about the possible ways of protecting the older persons. But we need to do something where the older persons can sleep at their homes in peace. And what has happened in Alwal North, where this older woman where was murdered and kept in a trunk for more than a week, it means that they are not safe. Because if they were safe, even the neighbors would have wake up in the morning and say, where is so and so? But we thank the church people and the community for searching after they realize that it's more than a week now that they don't see her walking outside the house. I spoke to the niece uh, earlier in the day, and she says what was even more scarier is that uh, the alleged perpetrator was actually not finished with the job. Uh, it was a cult ritual that he was performing, allegedly. In your view, were drugs also involved? Definitely, because we also interacted with some members of the community, especially people who know this 30-year-old uh, man. They also shared with us that he was indeed using drugs. And definitely he was possessed with drugs and the evil spirit. But drugs have also contributed to what he has done. Are you surprised though, not seeing uh, any member of uh, the provincial government here? I am disappointed, but on the other side, there was a district a director of Department of Social Development. There was a district director from the Department of Community Safety. But to have the politicians, I understand that the mayor of this area is in Joburg in other Salga matters. But when we see senior politicians, because they do have a very strong and powerful voice, we need them to be part of these funerals. A lot of the elderly women who are brutally murdered in this fashion are people accused of witchcraft. Now, how rife is the issue of people believing in evil spirits to commit these murders? Definitely, this is a challenge that needs to be addressed. I once said, we need to check our brains. We need to work and, and understand that everyone is still safe. We might think that we are normal and something is going wrong. There should be some programs checking on the mental health because we are more relaxed in South Africa because we've got flexible laws. Even this guy, now that he has committed this offense, the court will refer him, might apparently, refer him for mental assessment. And now you ask yourself, if he is declared unfit to stand trial, what happens? What about the woman 
that has lost her life? What about the family that lost their beloved one? So there's a lot of programs that we need to embark on. All right. Dr. Majola, thank you so much indeed for your time. That was Pietras Majola uh, giving us a reaction following the funeral service of Mamke Timoya. And I can tell you that this has uh, in heightened fears among elderly women here in Alwal North.